Hey Stampers, Kim from StampingImperfection.com. I'm here with a two minute quick tip on framelits. I wanted to show you there are two different things you can do with your framelits. Two different ways you can use it. Basically, what I've done is I've stamped a thank you a couple of different times. I wanted to show you two different ways that you could layer it. I'm using the Ovals Collection framelits that are in the new Stampin' Up! Spring Mini. I'm going to use the two smallest ones from the inside of this package and for the first one I'm going to cut out my thank you using the smallest one now with my Big Shot of course I use the whole the whole thing the whole platform multi-purpose platform with both tabs in it I'm going to put a cutting plate down I put my paper down I put my framelit down and the framelit has this raised edge that raised edge goes down toward the paper I'm going to center this and if I have trouble getting it to stay I'll use a post-it note to stick to it I run it through take it out and then I'm going to do the same thing with the blue my whatever I want to use for my background mat I'm going to do the same thing except with the background mat I'm going to use the one that's just one size larger so when I layer them together with snail I get something that looks like that I really like that that looks really pretty now there's another way that you can do it and on camera these two probably won't look very different but I think they look and feel a little different and it might be just one little touch that makes your card a little bit more amazing so this time I'm gonna cut out my thank you with the second largest I'm not gonna use the smallest one I'm going to center my thank you with the second largest oval instead of the smallest one this time. Okay, so I get a larger cut image. And then on the matte part, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use two framelits at the same time. I'm going to use the larger one, and then inside that, I'm going to center the smaller one. And this part, I really want to get it in the center because I'm going to actually be creating a frame that goes around my sentiment instead of a background piece to lay the sentiment on I'm actually going to create a frame and when I cut this out and take both of these off I get another piece that I can use on a different project and then I get this frame that I can put around my stamped image just like this so it's just a slightly different look you want to you have to kind of line it up and sometimes I need to trim a little bit of the um, background image off but you get two slightly different looks depending on um, what kind of texture you like so I don't know if you can see the difference but it's just a different way to do your framelits and you can do this with any framelits that have different sizes you can layer it like this or you can layer it like this it just depends on what you like as far as the texture of the product goes thanks for watching Go to stampingimperfection.com for more tips and tricks and to sign up for the mailing list.